What's up? Back From Hell serves as the fifth studio album by the American hip-hop group Run DMC, and it was released on October 16, 1990 by Profile Records. It marked a notable shift, adopting a more street-oriented attitude compared to their earlier albums, and included more explicit language. The track's faces and paws introduced a new musical style, the new Jack Swing. Back From Hell achieved sales of over 300,000 copies in the United States, reaching number 81 on the U.S. Billboard 200 and number 16 on the top R&B hip-hop albums chart. Notably, the album spawned three Billboard charting singles, Pause, What's It All About, and Faces with What's It All About even making it to the U.K. singles chart. Disposable Arts stands as the second solo and fourth overall studio album by the American rapper Masta Ace. The album is a concept piece, following the story of a young man from Brooklyn who's released from prison and returns home. He subsequently enrolls in the Institute of Disposable Arts after realizing the challenging situation in Brooklyn. Temptations represents the third studio album by the American hip-hop group Freestyle Fellowship. Released on October 16, 2001, via Ground Control Records, the release was notably delayed due to the incarceration of Self Jupiter, one of the group members. The Return of the Gangsta serves as the sixth studio album by American rapper Coolio. Released on October 16, 2006 through Hard Wax Records, the single Gangsta Walk features guest vocals from Snoop Dogg. Most of the songs from this album were also included in Coolio's subsequent release, Steel Here, in 2008. Still Rising is the fifth studio album by Jeru the Damaja, released on October 16, 2007. The album's cover art is inspired by the 1968 Olympics Black Power Salute. The album begins with a direct quote from the Law of Equivalent Exchange in the Full Metal Alchemist series. Country, God or the Girl stands as the fourth studio album by Somali-Canadian hip-hop artist Kanan. Released globally on October 16, 2012, it garnered generally positive reviews from music critics. At Metacritic, a platform that assigns a normalized rating out of 100 based on reviews from mainstream critics, the album secured an average score of 74, indicating generally favorable reviews. General Admission represents the second studio album by American rapper MGK. Released on October 16, 2015 under his indie record label EST19XX, distributed by Bad Boy and Interscope Records, the album featured two singles, Till I Die and A Little More, which included a feature from Victoria Monet. The documentary 2.5 is the seventh studio album by American rapper The Game, released on October 16, 2015. This album served as the second part of a two-piece project, with the first half being his seventh album, The Documentary 2, which was released a week earlier. It featured guest appearances from Will I Am, Schoolboy Q, J Rock, Naz, DJ Quick, Busta Rhymes, Problem, and more. The album was supported by the single El Chapo, featuring Skrillex. All We Need is the debut studio album by American singer Rory. Released on October 16, 2015 through Love Renaissance and Columbia Records, it received generally positive reviews from music critics, with an average Metacritic score of 65 based on 13 reviews indicating generally favorable reviews. All Love Lost represents the seventh studio album by American rapper Joe Budden, released on October 16, 2015 via E1 Music. The album included guest appearances from Caitlin Tarver, Jadakiss, Marsha Ambrosius, Emini, Felicia Temple, Eric Bellinger, and Yummy Bingham. It was supported by two singles, Broke and Slaughter Mouse. Burden of Proof serves as the second studio album by American rapper Benny the Butcher. Released on October 16, 2020 through Griselda Empire and entirely produced by Hitboy, the album featured guest appearances from various artists, including Big Sean, Conway the Machine, Dom Kennedy, Freddie Gibbs, Lil Wayne, Queen Nija, Rick Ross, and West Side Gun. The album received critical acclaim and debuted at number 27 on the Billboard 200, with approximately 19,000 equivalent album units sold. Anime, Trauma, and Divorce stands as the seventh solo studio album by American rapper Open Mike Eagle, released on October 16, 2020, through Auto Reverse Records. The production for the album was handled by various artists, including Caleb Stone, Frank Leone, Loden, Black Milk, Gold Panda, Nadarb, and more. The lead single from the album, Bucciarati, was accompanied by a music video directed by Demi Adeju Yigbi and starred Paul F. Tompkins and Jordan Katz. 
Streams of Thought, Vol. 3, Cain and Abel, marks the debut studio album by American MC Black Thought. Released on October 16, 2020, through Pass Young Productions and Republic Records, the album serves as the sequel to his second EP, Streams of Thought, Vol. 2, which was released in 2018. The LIBRA is the 11th studio album by American rapper T.I. released on October 16, 2020, via Grand Hustle Records and Empire Distribution. The title, which references T.I.'s zodiac sign Libra, also serves as an acronym for Legend is Back Running Atlanta. The album is the final part of a trilogy following Paperwork 2014 and Dime Trap 2018. Thanks for watching.